talk about Venezuelan migrants. So I have not forgot about the migrant crisis. I have not forgot about the migrant crisis. They still out here. But this time we're going to go down to Dallas. We're going to go down to Texas and see what's happening in the streets. Let's spend 10 minutes on this. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Uh, Venezuelan migrants are still kicking butt. You see what they look like? These your friends. They came over here for Kamala Harris. Texas police are reporting a surge in gang violence by illegal immigrants across the state. Dallas police charged four illegals with robbing a woman at gunpoint during a home invasion. San Antonio police arrested 20 people on drugs and human trafficking charges at an apartment complex. And some are confirmed members of the brutal gang, the Venezuelan gang, Trinde Aragua, TDA. Hey, ladies, are y'all scared yet? Because they coming after y'all. They coming after y'all. Are y'all scared yet, ladies? They trafficking, they running drugs, guns, they tying women up in their homes. They running it. They running it. And, and Adidas track suits. And Adidas track suits. That's what they in. They got, they got the whole hookup. They got the pants. They got the jogger. They got the shirt up under this an Adidas shirt. They got the, sh the shell toes. They running up in y'all spots. Okay, as they're known. Vice President Kamala Harris has flip-flopped on the White House's border policies, which allowed millions to come into this country illegally. Now she's promising hundreds of millions for Trump's border wall she once called a waste of money. Well, you know, she came from a state in California that benefited from a structure on the border. It's like she's got her memory back. She says she, wrote, or not. she reserved the right she to She wanted to decriminalize, decriminalize illegal crossings and has walked that back now. Her campaign has backed off her previous calls to eliminate Immigration and custom, uh, Customs Enforcement, or ICE, Texas Congressman Pat Fallon. Kamala Harris wants the American people to forget. It was the Biden-Harris administration, but she wants you to forget about the hyphen and the Harris. And we can't do that. And they only take, they only even discuss the border, David, when it's election season. So it'll be four more years and it'll get tremendously worse. Brooke Taylor is in Dallas with more on the gang crisis, Brooke. Harris, this recent story out of Dallas is just frightening. This woman was pulling into her garage when she says that four men with guns followed her in. They held her at gunpoint, tied her up, threatened her while they ransacked her home. Check out these suspects here, now all arrested and charged with aggravated robbery. Young and old. Young and old. All of them. See the one with the big ears all the way to the right? The one with the big, big ears in the middle to the right, too. They all got big ears. Is that a, is that a thing? Do you got to have big ears in order to be in a Venezuelan migrant gang? They all got big ears. Some of them head is a little bit more proportional to their ears, but they all got them siren ears. They got them uh, got the Martin Lawrence ears. Records show all four are from Venezuela and have ice holds. Police identified Manuel Hernandez Hernandez through fingerprints because he already had a criminal history, including a DWI. Recently, he was stopped at a traffic light and arrested after not having a driver's license and registration. According to police, he was released just one day before the robbery. He eventually he led police robbery. to the other three suspects, including the so-called ringleader of the group, Wilmer Gonzalez. When police arrested him, it turned into an eight-hour intense standoff at an apartment complex in Irving. I spoke to a lot of neighbors there who said that it was just so unsafe, especially for their young children who live in that community. Neighbors shared videos with me of armed SWAT teams entering his apartment. The four Venezuelan migrants are accused of following that woman into her upscale Briarwood neighborhood home in Dallas. Police say they, the they tied her up, they hit her with a gun, threatened her and stole thousands of dollars in jewelry and money. We welcome people who are not, uh, who come here legally, but people who are not here illegal or are not coming in legally, we have to wonder about why they were able to get here in the first place. No, they're going to call you racist. See, if you believe in legal migration, but you don't believe and illegal migration, then they're going to call you racist and they're going to call you uh, a discriminatory person and a Karen. 
and a black person that is against their own community because we're all supposed to be around people of color, black and brown together and purple. And this far north, to me, it, it is the most important um, issue, uh, perhaps even ahead of the economy. And the issue not just here, but in San Antonio, a police raid involving multiple agencies ended up with the arrest of 16 people who have ice holds and four confirmed TDA members. Harris. Brooke, thank you very much. I want to bring in Republican Congressman Chip Roy from the great state of Texas now. You are up against it with these gangs. How do you fight this? Well, Harris, thanks for having me on, and thanks for shining the light on this important issue, uh, because it's, re it's really important for the people of our country and the migrants who are being abused at the hands of the Biden-Harris administration. My friend Pat Fallon is right. That hyphen exists. Kamala Harris is a part of this administration. She was dubbed the border czar. What we have in Texas right now are people getting hurt. You just went through the story in Irving. You alluded to the story in San Antonio this weekend. There were 20 people arrested in an apartment complex with a joint operation of law enforcement, local law enforcement and ICE and Border Patrol. And four of those members were tied to the Tren de Aragua gang, TDA, from Venezuela. You have a situation in El Paso, right, where we just had stories coming Look out. Look at these dudes. These dudes tatted up. They got tattoos all over their bodies. I wonder if they lifted their shirt up in order to take pictures of them. To see what was going on. Hold on one second, I gotta tap in. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Don't worry, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm on. Uh, I'm in a meeting for my job. <laughs> where you have migrants who were being forcibly put into effectively forced rape prostitution rings to pay off the debts for people coming into our country. Again, affiliated with TDA. You might remember about a month ago, I flew to Colorado. Mm -hmm. I went and visited at the site where the apartment complex was in fact taken over by TDA. Now, what's the consistent thread here? This is all a direct result of Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and Mayorkas's policies. They have been releasing Venezuelans under a program that you're well acquainted with, that Bill Malugin has been reporting about, right? Mm -hmm. Where they release Venezuelans, they, re they release Cubans, they release Haitians, they release Nicaraguans, um, and they released- Did Anton from AntonDaniels.com, because I almost believe that they stole that from me because I was the person that went through the documentation and actually doc, you know, showed you guys what this parole program was and how it was going to affect you. I was the person that basically broke that down for y'all and it's that humanitarian parole program that they are basically allowing for people to come into, into the country and do whatever it is that they wanna do. I'm the person that broke that down. 117,000 Venezuelans. We now know tens of thousands of them are criminals with backgrounds that show crime, murder. Now, here's the real exclamation point. You know Jocelyn Nungre, that beautiful 12-year-old girl who was murdered in Houston, Texas. She was murdered by somebody that we can now confirm, two individuals, one of whom are confirmed to have been a part of TDA. Her mom, Alexis, is a beautiful 27-year-old woman. And Colin Allred comes on and attacks Ted Cruz for politicizing this because Alexis joined Ted and President Trump to speak out about it. Shame on Colin. Shame on him. We need to make sure we send Ted Cruz back to the Senate. Shame on Kamala Harris for being MIA and going up and doing interviews with The View and going on Stephen Colbert while people are hurting in the southern part of our country from hurricanes and because of what they've done on our borders. And now we've got gangs in my district in San Antonio that are harming them, endangering them. We've got to fight back on November 5th and generally to take our state and our country back. Real quickly, why can't we just deport TDA? Why hasn't that happened? 
Well, we need to do that. And that's obviously what President Trump is rightly campaigning on, is having mass deportations of these criminals. It's not just TDA. There are rampant criminals. I was in upstate New York campaigning for my friend Mark Molinaro, talking about someone in his district who was from Peru, who was released, who had 23 murders in his background. You know what will happen? November 5th, we have to get the right people in the White House, President Trump, the right people in the House, the right people in the Senate. And if we do that, then we need to do our job in mass deportations Congress, to make sure we can protect our country. I Thanks, Harry. Yeah, that's, it's, it's messed up. And so, you know, you see how we're no longer reporting on Venezuelan gangs, that all of a sudden that story died out, and the major media is not really bringing as much visibility to what's happening in these towns, these small towns, both red and blue states that they've flown them into. We don't have as, mu- as much coverage anymore. Have y'all noticed that? It's not really much of a thing. It is there. It's not anymore. It's not the hot story right now. The hot story is the hurricane, FEMA, all of that stuff. And so it's up and down, and people don't really trip about it anymore because it's really not that big of a deal. Ah, we just learn to live with them. You know what? It would be inhumane to de- deport people. You know what? That's not right. What about all of their families and their relatives? What about if they decide that they wanted to come over here while they were pregnant and We should not be separating the kids from their families. Ah, you know what? To build a border is inhumane. Let everybody in. Let everybody bring their culture. Let everybody bring their gains in. Let everybody bring their tattoos, their previous history and everything. Come on in. Once and for all, come on in. You got it. You got it. We need to replace the people that decided not to evacuate out of Florida anyway. Come on in. We need, new, we need new buyers. We need new financiers. We need new voters. We need people to come in. We know that Kamala Harris is going to completely dodge. You know what else I noticed about Kamala Harris? Is that she 100% will not do an interview any longer than 20, 25 minutes. 30 minutes tops. The only person that she gave a longer interview is CNN. I don't care if it's a local station. I don't care what it is. And she obviously know that they was going to simp out for her on all of the smoke, but she does not give long interviews because she knows that they have a lot of questions to get through and she don't want them to deep dive too much into the questions. And so what she does is she only limits the amount of time that they have for these interviews because they have to get through a lot of questions. That's why I said that whoever interviews her, they just need to hammer her, hammer on immigration, hammer on the border, hammer on the things that we really care about. And she'll never appear on Fox.